Hey ho. Good morning everybody, I'm here have a bean. I do have a few videos to go up, but uh, I'm just showing you what's been happening the past week. Right, this has been two days work. This is downstairs bathroom. I did have the enormous big bath in there, which was the best bath I've ever had, but it was done. And this was meant to be done about... I don't know, about 8 or 10 years ago when we went to do this. We take all that wall down, but this is what's going on today. What day is this? Thursday. This is Thursday. Obviously, it's all going to get redone. That will be replaced. I'm going to try and keep that. Well, that's just a little bit of what's left. I'll go outside and I'll show you the rest. Right, so here we have your barrel. Oh, Yo barrel number three, I think I have just let Hobby get on with it. He's been wanting to do this for a long time. I just said yes, just do it. And then if we go round the corner, that's the old scabby bath. The deepest bath I have ever seen in my life. Yes, it's an S, but we haven't used it, as I said, eight, ten years or something. It's just been sitting in there. Well, as we knew what a big job it was. So, that's to be get rid of. So while he's doing that, and I did mention in a video, I don't know if I put it up yet, uh, that these were originally white. Possibly not to everybody's taste, but as to mine, I wanted it mustard. But instead of power washing and giving it a sand, it took Hobby, actually, it's six days. He took it right back to the bear. Right back to the bear metal. It's been undercoated. And then a coat, as I've said, with mustard. Needing just a couple of little touches up, which I'll get done. And in here, that's the come off, I said in another video as well. But I'll be down here all morning. <laughs> Right, I'll show you this. Down here all morning, I have been cleaned out my she shed last week to get rid of all the heebie jeebies. I'll try to open this with one hand, let's see if I can do it with two. Right, just show you a little bit. And that is what is going on my table outside. So I will possibly do that in the next video. I just wanted to give you a slight little update been re-polished and re-bleached this morning and the reason Hobby cleans it all out for me is I had a small pot inside this pot and then when I took the small pot out what was in it? A spider that size and I am not kidding you we get enormous ones in here so I've had to wait until that went away so that's the only reason Hobby does all the cleaning along the top and underneath oh, uh, just to finish this bit I'll just to finish this bit, get all my lovely cards up on the wall from my friends. And that's what the channel was called, a wee back. And uh, that's the way I have been for a week. Under stress, I will not get into it, but never mind. Hello everybody, how are we all doing? And uh, that's the way it stands at the minute. So that there will be on the next video, getting all that off, getting a new cover in it. Brushing all that up again and then doing a template for replacing this gate. So it's all busy and it's all go go. This bed in here, we have decided to keep it. We were going to put a polytunnel in there, but we've changed our mind. And what we are going to do actually is just keep the new polytunnel for when that one up the top goes on the blink, so to speak. So that's covered up for the winter. It's been filled up and then covered with cardboard. Everything is burning, as you can see here, we don't have grass anymore, it's all been burnt rotten. Uh, and it's just gone the back of 12 in the afternoon. Look at my sweet potatoes, that's with the heat. Covered up the cabbages. And we do have pumpkins growing away, quite the thing, on our, or in our compost bin. Right. We are not going to get sweet corn this year, just because of the heat. So we're just going to top up these beds again. We'll put an extra plank along the sides of them to raise them up a bit. We'll fill them all up in the autumn. Getting 
getting plenty of tomatoes. Same again. Filled it all up. Same again. We'll put an extra edging on that to make it taller. And the same again with this one. I think we'll just do that one. And possibly that one. And get them all topped up and get them sorted out with compost manure for the winter. Little Sky Sky's having a paddy. So that's the state of affairs as we are right now, guys. Right, I'll finish off by going up here. Go down to here where the giant raised bed was. This is where I do want an above the ground swimming pool. Nothing fancy. Just somewhere to dip because I think tomorrow we have to get I think 38, 39 degrees which is going to be absolutely blistering hot so that's been covered up and we'll deal with that either in the autumn or the beginning of next year in the spring and get it all levelled off but that's down just to keep the weeds away and I am indeed going to be moving I was going to keep this but it's no viable I'm going to cut all this back and move the rose bush into a giant pot. I'll show you the giant pot. I'm going back and forward, sorry guys, but this is the first morning and about six or seven days, so that's the pot, the rose. I'm hoping the rose is going to go in there. Can't do anything about the heat, I'm afraid. But yes, that's how it stands at the minute. I haven't been well for over a week, so hence no videos are getting uploaded. And just to let you know I'm alive, alive, oh, and things are progressing inside and outside. Catch you on the next one, guys. Au revoir, Chico Pip. Hello, little bumblebee. Bye bye.